would you be looking to join the EU as a full member yes. state? You would? That, that's long-standing SNP policy. Uh, Even though it's mm -hmm. so complicated uh, in order to get to that application, well, and look, all you need is one member state to say, no, that's no good, such as Spain, who have their own well, issues I, with you know, separatists, and you'd be at the back of the queue, wouldn't you? Because there, there is, is no a waiting queue. list. <laughs> there, is, there is no queue to join the European Union. And we've had you know, several voices uh, over recent times saying that if Scotland wanted to uh, be in the EU, there would be a very open, warm reception for that. Now, in 2014, we proposed uh, using the pound within a currency union. The starting point of our consideration is that Scotland would use the pound. It's our currency. It's a fully tradable international currency. But as I'm sure you know, I have a, a growth commission right now looking at uh, a plan for the economic future of Scotland, but also looking in detail at currency options for Scotland. So you don't know then? Well, that, you're calling for a referendum well, when you're not sure what currency look, you'd well, use? If, if Theresa May's concern is timing, then within reason, I'm happy to have that discussion. I've tried trying to find some consensus here. We both say not now, so we agree on that. I've set out the time frame that I think would be fair and reasonable. She says she doesn't agree with that, so I think it's therefore for her to say what time frame she thinks would be reasonable, and then let's have that discussion. I'm not in politics to, you know, judge everything and what it means for my own individual career.